I'm Mike. I'm Kay. And we are the Double Potential, Potential, and we are back with our 13th. 18th. Highly Ariana. requested. No. Who is it? Nikki. It's not our 13th, Nikki, then. We ain't do that much, Nikki. I was exaggerating. Oh, I thought I was thought you were saying Ariana because we probably have done that many. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so this is our third, fifth, Nikki, um, featuring, featuring Ariana Grande, the queen, Ariana Grande, and it's called Bed. So I don't know if they're trying. Did to you hear a little bit of it? I don't know. No, I haven't heard. Me neither. So let's get it right into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, comment subscribe, and share. share. Hit that notification bell. One. Time. Follow us Why on Instagram. Why are you so good at underscore the potential underscore and Snapchat the potential two the number two because we want to chat with all of you. You need to calm down. Come on, Nikki, give us a vibe, please. Story for you, Nikki wrote the song, recorded the song, and her voice was on the singing part. Mm. And she called Ari and she said, All right, I just want to see how you sound on this. She sent it to Ari, sent it back with her voice. Mm -hmm. And she, Nikki said, Oh my god, I started screaming, like, Oh my god, and I called her and I cried on the phone, like, oh my god, thank you so much, Ari, like, it's perfect. And she was saying the reason why she reached out to Ari every album is because Ari gives you not too much, but enough, and it's just, like, perfect every time, like, out the ballpark. So that's why she reached out to her and they friends and stuff. But I will tell you, if, if I was Nikki and I was rapping the way she just rapped, I would have been excited for Ari too because we all know that most songs, especially these days, is really based on the chorus because that's what's catchy, that's what gets on the radio and stuff like that. Yeah. Where you going with this? This was a waste. Let me sleep. Ari wasted her time because this really should have been on a song that was really worth it. Ari's tone, Ari's rhymes, Ari's voice, vo everything about Ari's voice was perfect. Fair. I'm sorry. Sir. I'm sorry. What you saying? What are you saying, sir? It was perfect. And I'm I'm saying like Ari needs to learn how to say no because this is I probably think it's good. Well her part is good. Can I say what I want? Go Nikki ahead. I really genuinely did like Rich Sex and I really felt like if Rich Sex came on the radio, I would really bop to it and turn it up like for a I second. Wouldn't. This I would not. This was not good. The only part that was really good was our report. It was legit. And it seemed like on the end she didn't even go off like she was using. Yeah, like and it, it was it legit. Was real a, it never took me nowhere. It was a three out of ten. For me, I don't know if that's too I low. I feel like 
But Whatever Nikki coming out with is like throwaway songs. Like you know them songs that you like. You making an album and then you like those songs didn't cut it. Those songs didn't make the cut. Mm -hmm. It seemed like these songs just should not have made the cut. Well, this is a this is not her. I don't think this is a single. But is it going on the album? Yes. Okay. But you know it how they put out a the single, album. then they give you a song, then they put out a single. It should have made the album. Okay. I don't like it. I like the subtleness. I, it reminds me of what we just listened to with Troy. Troy. Yes. It reminds me of that, but it didn't do nothing Ari. for me. It didn't do nothing for Nikki. And mm -hmm. what Nikki was saying, y'all can try to come for me and say what y'all want, but I know good rap, and that was not no good rap. She said you're doing 50 and a 55. whoop de do. What else? She said, um, I told him, go all the way down, make her right. What else? She's not, to me, she, it just like, you might as well say A, B, C's then. You might as well say A, B, C, D, because that's what you're giving me. Nothing. I don't have to think about nothing. I don't have to listen hard to, uh, to see what it, was, what it was said. I don't have to listen at all because I'm going to be like, okay, what is she saying? Like, nothing. She's not rapping, rapping to me. Like, this is some kitty rap. I don't care. Like, I really... And a lot of people won't come for me and come when we be saying stuff. And I just want y'all to know, I understand. Y'all be saying these double entendres. Anybody could say a double entendre. Is it a good double entendre? That's, that's what I'm saying. Anybody could do one. Is it something but is it good? Y'all was saying about the Boosie fan. And she was like, oh, Nikki's the only one that do double entendres. Y'all didn't hear about the Boosie fan. Um, and then... Uh, Niggas is catching a fade. No, 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 Boosie. But was it a good double enchandra? It wasn't. Like, did it, any thought go into it? Like, it just was, it was lame to me. That I thought it was lame. So it's like, I just feel like Safari must have really been writing her raps. Because this rap wasn't it. Like, I and, didn't. And I did want to say one more thing. She must have been getting help. And she needs that same help. But this is what I will. I will Everybody want, need help. I want to say one more thing. The, um,. I, have one of I forgot. Well, I forgot. I was gonna say I forgot what I was gonna say. I think I was gonna say what was I gonna say? It's just a throwaway song for me. It just sounds like a throwaway song. Like we're not gonna. Oh, play. I know what I was gonna say. I think the re the and it's not a good song. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna retract that. But my point is. She gives us songs that are performancy and like you said, vibey and radio and whatever 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 but it bothers me when you say you're the queen of rap and you, we don't hear rap skills that are on the level of the title of the queen of rap now i will say she has given us verses back in the past where i could have seen dang like this chick is really coming for the game like she's really going in and so where you could be the queen of rap but i felt like Somewhere between then and now, something happened. Now, I'm not going to be shady and say the safari line, but... I wasn't being shady. I wasn't talking about you. I was just saying, I'm not going to be shady and say the safari line, but something happened. Something happened. Something definitely went... And, and I understand growth. You know, I'm trying to, like, defend Nikki a little bit. I understand you grow. I understand this. I get all of that. But, but at the end of the grow, day, better. Rihanna has grown. Beyonce has grown. People grow, but it's consistently good. Every now and then, they might have a bad moment. Like, no, everybody did not like and Beyonce like, around the world, it girl. Not be, it was it one moment. It may not be bad, but it may be different. It'd be different this if was it was bad. different. But it's like, and you know, people down. was on Twitter been saying, because yeah, because Nikki is, went this in. This is what oh it's trying God. to give you. It's understand. trying to give you that your love, your love. And on songs like that, no, was she giving you the the best lyrics? Uh, like, was she a, like a straight lyricist on the songs? No, but you felt those songs and you felt like she was at least saying something on this. It's just like, what are you, you're not saying nothing to me. You're not saying. Right. Like, will I play it again? Like, will I Look it up on iTunes and blast it. I won't. No. I don't know. People, Nikki has a fan base and I'm, I respect that. But at the end of the day, fan bases have to be realistic too. And y'all can say, but I miss the old Somebody Nikki. said that, or oh, if it was Cardi B, y'all would be saying that too. No, because all the Cardi B stuff, I didn't never say that was the best in the best in the best. Right. I'm not a Cardi B stand either. 
But if she made something good, I'ma say it. If Nicki made something good, I would say it. And she's but the last also, time Nicki made something that I could listen to was when her and Meek was together and it was that song. That's the last song. And the thing about today is y'all have Never to remember, all that, but it was we, live, we live in a world where it's all about being genuine, it's all about being yourself, it's all about being real and authentic. Cardi B has never once said she was the queen of anything. So if she came out with a, like, we didn't agree with the whole baddie Barbie, baddie baby thing. We didn't agree with that. But that music is better than this. She's the bad, bad. I still don't like bad baby. I don't like it either, but I'm saying that her music was better than this. But she's the queen of rap. That's the problem. You gave yourself that title, but are you giving us queen of rap verses? Are you That's giving what's bothering me. Actual like worthy music. Cardi is not the best lyricist in the world. Cardi don't even write all her music, but she says she doesn't write all her music, and she never said she was the queen. She having fun. She wants to be a rapper, and she wants to get her put people out the projects. So we relate to that more. And I'm not saying that Nicki is not relatable, but this is just not a good song. Our report was amazing though. I don't know. Exactly. Like she keeps saying, this is her best album. Everybody say that, boo. Almost. I don't. A lot end of people it. be like, my last album, this is not it. Just end it. I just, she needs to, mm mm. It's not looking good. See, somebody said Nikki needs a better marketing team because this and Rich Sex should have not made on album. Exactly. That's exactly what, that's exactly it's what like she said. It's like songs like, well, I would not want this on my album. When I, what, what is it in between? What songs is it, is it in between? Because it's not going to flow. Repair. I got an ad. That's shady. Oh, like a, YouTube is shady. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't dislike nobody, mm. but I'm not. Nikki is not doing it for me. And it's okay to give different sides of you. Like, you may have a different personality. You may want to put that through your music. That's fine. I ain't saying but nothing about that, but I don't like the, it. Right? No, we don't have to like it. I'm saying... No, I'm saying I don't like the song. No, I don't like the song either. I'm saying it's okay for her. This may be a different side of her. If she wants to do this, that's fine. But the point I'm trying to make is that when you're claiming something, you have to eventually give it to us. When is the last time she gave us even a verse that would be deemed, wow, she's the queen of rap? That's the point I'm trying to get. I think if Nikki would have never started that queen of rap shit, that everything would have been received a little better but mentally and human wise we're going the first thing we're going to do is like oh a nikki reaction oh queen of rap like let's see what the queen of rap got to say it's just we we can't help it mm -hmm. and it's not just us it's anybody mm -hmm. and everybody that be out there like hyping this up like baby if, if you a nikki fan and you want to hype it up this question want to hype it up that's fine but like this one said you have to be realistic like yeah be realistic like you have to be realistic and some people this might be a little judge but i don't see it in, I don't see how this could be. And that's fine. But where is the queen of rap? That is my question. Where she is my She wasn't even saying. She didn't give me a little bit of, oh, she she did a little something with that line. I ain't And like you said, said, Barbie but. Sings didn't make the album. So why did this? Like, you can put out the music. Put it on the iTunes. Give it to your fans. And I like the maybe your fans of it. I like, I got a bed with your name. But it, it didn't give me no energy was, at the end. It didn't give me, it's almost just like... You know what? We're going to scrap this song. This is not going to the album. But yeah. they put it on the album. Like, I don't understand. Like, it's almost like, oh, this and song then you came put through. It out, like this song came through. Like, Let's record it. I don't see me. That, if that song came on the radio, I would turn it. Because I don't want to hear it. Like, just think if it's Friday night and that song came on the radio and you with your people and y'all drinking y'all in the car and y'all went to the club. I don't know. Um, Y'all let us know how y'all feel down in the comments below. Y'all always say we hard on Nikki. But baby, we, we, we don't have that much hate in our heart to just be not, mad about Right, I was about to say, we don't have hate in our heart at all. Like, but the reason why we all hard on her is because she... I'm not hard on her. I just say what I'm like. I just say. I'm, it's not about me being... I don't I don't care about Nikki saying she the queen and where's the queen. When something is not good, it's just not good. I do. So I ain't holding none of that accountable. The only thing I'm holding accountable is the song I'm reacting to. And if it's a not a good song, I'm going to say it's not a good song. Beyonce didn't so, even say she was the queen until she got to the end of her career. And when she came out with something whack, we were saying we didn't like Run the World Girls when it first came out. Why you give... 
No, I'm just saying. Who are you neck up? Beyonce never came out and said I was the queen before people started saying she was the queen. Then when people started saying she was the queen. That. Bow down. No, right. But, but I'm saying, now she'll say she's the queen, but she's earned that. Look how long Beyonce been in the game versus how long Nicki been in the game. Look how much Beyonce has put to the game versus Nicki. And you coming out being a queen. Cool. You can say you're the queen. You, everybody, like Remy say, you're supposed to feel like you're the queen. You're supposed to feel like you're the best. But then you give us this. That's what bothers me. If she would have never said she was the queen, wasn't the queen, or was the queen, we wouldn't have that in our heads already before we listen to a book like this. Ariana, Ariana Park was the best. Ariana Park was a ten out of motherfucking ten. Nikki Park and was a And I feel like Ariana Park could have been better because she didn't give me nothing at the end. It just it stayed consistent. I like that. I think he was perfect. I just think it was it on was the wrong vibey, song. But I, I think just, it was on the wrong song. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know. It was just. In a beat of Queen Thank God ride, somebody said sure. thank God this it. I love y'all. I love Yancy Castillo. Thank God this is Nikki's song and not Ariana's because it will fly. It's not Somebody just us. This is the type of shit that makes Nikki the queen. It reminds you her that she's on top. See? Maybe like, it's tone deaf. $1,000 she's waiting on you for some $1,000 she's. $1,000 she's waiting on you on some $1,000. This okay, is crazy to me. Okay, she's sitting on $1,000 she's. Okay. Say Anybody could sit on one thousand. Say something sheets. about what are you doing on those sheets? How are you feeling on them sheets? Where's, like, where's your nigga? That you don't have one. I'm sorry. No, sh we're not gonna do that. The, it, don't, it don't have nothing to do with that. We just being, we just being stupid. But I'm. <gasps> Somebody said, "Good job, Ariana Grande." I'm telling, it ain't just us. I know it's not just me. Okay. We can't Somebody said, "Name a better duo." And y'all, I, I guess we go so long because we passionate about music and stuff like right. that. We and are. we don't like people to that don't do us, the right just thing. give us bullshit. And do all of this. They talk a lot. Mm -hmm. They want to go to the radio station say, don't mess with this rap. And they want to put down yes. other people. Yes. And then you make it seem like you so up here. Yes. But then you really, like, n nothing is up here but your name. Nothing is up here but your you fame. Not nothing have is to here do, but, you know. You would not have to do all of that if your music would just speak for itself. So there's something in you that feel like I have to do all of this and I have to keep saying I'm the queen and I have to shut everybody else down. Because look what you're getting. Where is Safari? Fuck that. I said I wasn't going to say it, but where is he? I don't know. Like, I'm going to tell you, I really liked high school. High school? I felt like she was spitting a little, even if she wasn't the best lyricist. She that was e spitting. That was a good EP. The one with Ciara, that Ciara song was good, too. I don't know what that is. Um, beat him like he stole something. Beat him like he stole. Okay. I'm just saying, but it was better than this. Um. We all love the monster. Like, I don't know. It's just, I like the moment for life. I love like that whole era. The I other love the day, whole somebody I heard in our comments, shout out to you, say, are oh, they are Nikki saying no? But they was like, I bought all of her albums and I've been a follower of hers and I liked her, but she's not showing any growth. You go from, like I said, high school and and then you go to here. And even if y'all gonna say it wasn't, this is not worse. Is it, you're not growing any. You're staying really complacent. Like she hasn't shown any change. Any. Like you can tell from dangerously in love. Till. Lemonade. Um, lemonade. Lemonade or even before. What was before Lemonade? For Beyonce. You can tell from that how much she's grown, Gross. even in the studio. Like when you really listen to Dangerously in Love, you like, you yeah, she hear. sounds good, but you sound like she sounds so much better. Like she's gotten so much more comfortable. She's done so much more with her voice. And for Nikki, it's like, what, what is she like? She not One, even two. like she Lil Wayne. Go. You can tell from Lil. Let's use a rapper. Let's use a rapper. Lil Wayne, the Carter Two, hit me. Um, right in the start of what's the a hustle. Uh, Hustler music. So when he tried to start singing and playing the guitar, even if it was different and people didn't like it, you saw the growth in him. You saw that he was doing more musically. Yes, like he was, and he was changing the game. He changed the game with Lollipop. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He changed the game with a lot of his stuff. He, Mr. And Carter too. That's why that, that he started album. calling himself the best rapper alive. But he wasn't. 
staying. Lil Wayne is not never gonna stay in one place at one. That's what I'm saying. Like you, even if you gonna say this is not worse than what she was doing, I think it is. But even if you didn't want to say it, it's not. She hasn't shown anything to me that says it's growing. Like her. somebody say sorry, but Nikki's verses weren't really fire. But I love you, Nikki. Somebody said I fell asleep. What happened? Like I don't know. Somebody say, eh, I ain't feeling this one. Like, her, she's Somebody not perfecting. Somebody say, it's so boring. Her, her craft, she's not perfecting it. And even if you're a rapper and you on top and you making so much money in your brand, you still have to perfect your craft. And she's not doing that. She's not trying to. She's not trying to perfect her uh, flow. She's not trying to perfect her lyrics. She's not trying to perfect none and of And I it. think that comes from so many people saying oh my god you're so perfect you're so perfect you're so fire like everything and she can we please end this video yeah let's end it um y'all let us know how y'all feel down in the comments below if y'all disagree that's cool we're 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 into that back and forth we just want to keep everything positive she has really brought me down and let us know what y'all rated and poor ariana uh, make sure y'all like this video, comment, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell at least one time, and follow <laughs> us on Instagram and Twitter at <laughs> underscore the potential underscore Snapchat oh, the girl. potential two the number two because we want to chat with all of you. Y'all, I'm about to go lay in the bed after this. I gotta cook. You're gonna stay up. What's um, your name? My name is Case. My name is Ariana Grande's verse. Ariana Grande's chorus. And we are the potential. We out. <laughs>